everybody. My name is C and I am the owner of CLM Custom Designs on Etsy and CLM Custom Designs on YouTube. My channel is All Things Crafting. Come back if you've been here before and welcome. If you're new, come on in and take a seat. Let's get ready to learn something. Today I had to make a baby gift for a baby shower. And what I thought would be something different and unique is a light up sign. And so what that means is I ordered this off of Amazon. I think it comes in a set of four, but um, you get the plexiglass and you can get these in different shapes, round, heart, or this octagon. You get a base in which this goes inside. You get the um, remote control. You get the instructions to it, as well as a cord so that you can um, plug it in to charge it or it also takes batteries. So that is what I am going to do. I'm going to actually engrave on it. So what I am going to do is turn you around so that you can see my screen and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So just a second. Okay, I've got you turned around so you can see my screen. I have Cricut Design Space opened. So what I'm going to do is go and look for a phrase that I can engrave on the plexiglass. Typically, I would probably do the um, baby's name, but in this case, um, the parent has not revealed it. So we're just gonna go with the phrase. So over here on this left-hand side, I wanna click on the word phrase. So I'm going to type in Mama's Blessing enter and we're going to see what we get okay so we get a lot of phrases mama's blessings um but i'm looking for okay here we go my greatest blessings call me mom we are going to click on that and it appears um down here and then we hit add to the canvas and voila, it pops into design space. Now, right now, as you can see here, it has, if you can see, let me try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so right here it says basic cut. But I mentioned that we are going to engrave. So all you need to do is hit this drop down. It gives you a list of things. We're gonna come down here to engrave. And once we do that, as you can see now, it just gives you the outline of what you need so this is what we are going to do now we need to make sure that we get it in the center of this plexiglass the and the right size so the first thing we need to do is measure the, the size that we want to have the design on the plexiglass so let me get my measuring tape so we can do that so we are going to say Seven inches across and so I think that I am going to unlock this here and then we can manipulate it ourselves and kind of come up with the size that we want that looks better to me visually and if I look at it I still got it's a little over four this way which is okay and then here not quite four, which is fine because you have to leave room. Remember, this is going to go down inside here. So you really need to start the measuring above that. So that being the case, I think we're good. Now, how are we going to figure out how to get it in the center? I am going to show you. You can grab a shape. And we have an octagon in here. And so what we can do is make it the same size as this one, which we said was seven. The width would be seven. So we'll hit that. And then we only really want to measure to that dip, which is like a little over five. So we'll make this like five here that's a little bit longer but not much it's not five and a half so what you can do is you need to put this on the front so come up here to arrange 
click on bring forward and there's your design right there so now what you can do is highlight both of them align to the center horizontally and then align to the center vertically and that'll get it perfectly in the center okay and then you can attach then we can go to make it and now like on the four and once we put it on the four and two and how i'm going to line up my design as you can see i'm using the purple mat which is a strong grit mat because we don't want this plexiglass to move once we put it on this comes with a film so make sure you peel off Okay, I lost a bit of my footage because my daughter called while I was filming and I must have hit something crazy. But anyway, it stopped recording. So I'm trying to recreate what I did before. So I got a piece of plexiglass. This is just a five by five piece of plexiglass um, just to kind of show you uh, the process of um, engraving on it. So Thank you. let's find something. Okay, so we'll just use this one, which is fine. It just says thank you. And we're going to add it to the canvas. We will need our engraving tool. So that is this. We are going to go down to the Cricut machine, swap it out. This first one is for like a pen if I were going to write something, but we're not. So we're going to go on this side. We're going to take out the cutting blade. We're going to swap that for the engraving blade. Put it right in. Sit that right on that ledge, close it. Okay, now we got the engraver in. We're gonna turn it on. It's already plugged in to the machine. Now to come over to our mat. Take off the film. And just like we did on the screen, we're gonna bring it over to the one and the two mark, right? So we're gonna line it up. It's on the one and the two here, and you can see on the mat, it's also at the one and the two, right? So we use our extra strong or our strong grip mat, but just to make sure that it doesn't move, we also want to tape the edges with painter's tape. So whatever design you're using, you want to make sure that it's more so in the center of your plexiglass so that you can type the edge or tape the edges down with a piece of, like I said, with some uh, painter's tape so that it doesn't move. It's just like extra security as it goes through the cutting process. Okay. So we're just gonna tape down those edges. Okay. So now it's a little bit more secure. It is not going to move when you put it in, okay? So back down to the machine. Put that in there. Now we need to go back up here. Now we can hit continue. And we need to select the material that we are going to engrave on. So we're going to put acrylic. I keep calling it plexiglass, but it's technically acrylic. And we're going to hit two mLs, two millimeters. That's the thickness. That's the thickest you can cut on the Cricut. And then we're going to hit done. Okay. So now we'll come back down to the machine and watch it do what it do. Let's see, has 
like a little bits on it. So what I typically do is take it off the mat now and then I would use the painter's tape and just kind of do this to get off all of the little bits that are left on. But as you can see now, the engraving turned out really, really nice. Again, I should have moved it up a little bit. I didn't have it scented properly because um, I'm trying to just recreate. But anyway, you get the idea. So that is in fact how you engrave. And it came out really, really nice. This is another one that I've done that says, I love you. I've done one for retirement and I've done one with a baby's handprint on it and put their name. So yeah, the possibilities are endless. I appreciate you hanging out with me while I did this. This was fun. This was quick. As you see, it did not take a lot of time at all, especially if you use a pre-existing design. It might take a little bit longer if you um, create your own, but still, it's going to be quick. Thanks for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate it. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone else who you think could benefit from the content that I create. Um, I've got some exciting things coming up next month. Um, right now, you know that I am on Etsy, but November 1st, I will be launching my Shopify store. So yes, Shopify is coming. I am super excited. I have been working on it for a while. So like I said, November 1st, my Shopify store will open. Um, with some new merch and some other um, exciting things. My classes will be back on board, all of that. Um, I'm getting ready for some vendor events coming up. So stay tuned for those, as well as my segment from the ground up. Make sure that you are um, subscribed and you've hit the notification bell so you don't miss that when it comes up. I have been having a great time talking to a lot of entrepreneurs and I have them lined up all the way through the new year. So we are good to go. Anyway, I have spent enough of your time today. So again, I'm going to say thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.